He has now officially joined the crowded presidential race. He believes he has what it takes to lead Kenya. With only four months to the general election, Kenneth unveiled this. And his slogan is, Tunawes Mek, whose English version could be, We Can Make It, which in itself appears to be targeted primarily at youthful voters. And to demonstrate his closeness to the youth, 46-year-old Kenneth took to the floor in the company of his son Andrew and popular artist Juakali. Kenneth says he stands above his competitors as most of them are hiding their weaknesses in campaigns that are merely ethnic-based. What has continued to ail us and will continue to ail us until we make a break is tribalism. We have taken the excuse of tribalism for poor leadership. We have taken the excuse of tribalism for weak leadership. And Kenneth is positioning himself as a nationalist. I'm in a very unique position to ensure there is no tribalism and that every Kenyan will feel proud under my leadership to feel proud to be a Kenyan. Kenneth, who has represented Gatanga constituency for two terms, since 2002, pitched his success in the management of the Constituency Development Fund, saying Kenyans can now trust him with the management of national resources. But we need to assure that young farmer in Washungishu that if he plants his maize, he will get everything he paid for that maize. On his campaign platform is a pledge to improve the economy by investing more in agriculture, tourism, manufacturing and innovation. He says he has the necessary administrative skills to oversee improved infrastructure, security and better management of social services like health. We've also seen recently that the medics have taken to the streets. I feel for them. I know they took the Hippocratic oath but they are frustrated. They are in hospitals, but they are not able to take care of the patients. And when they take to the streets, it's the poor who suffer. Kenneth says he holds the key to a brighter Kenya. I will ensure that the constitution that we so much passed is implemented in full. I will ensure that the institutions that were supposed to be set up are operational. And when he is president, I will always remind him of the promise to create jobs, develop talent, and incorporate the youth of Kenya into running this great nation. The Gatanga MP, who will be turning 47 on 27th of this month, was born and raised in Bahati, Nairobi. He is an old boy of Starehe Boys Center. He holds a Bachelor of Laws degree from the University of Nairobi and is about to complete his Master's degree in law from the same university. He has undertaken courses in insurance and banking. He was the chairman of the Kenya Football Federation between 1996 and the year 2000. A goalkeeper in high school, Kenneth later played for Reunion FC. Present at his launch was his boss at the planning ministry, Wycliffe Oparanya, local government minister Paul Otwoma, Kinangop MP David Ngugi, Muturi Mwangi of Kiharu, Mohamed Ali of Moyale, and Emilio Kathuri of Manyata. Oparanya says Kenneth is a longtime friend whose passion for economic issues he well understands given how they've worked together on implementing Vision 2030. So Peter, I wish you success. You know where I am, and occasionally I've talked to you about working together, but maybe it will come. The Gatanga Member of Parliament says he is tested. He says his campaign will be about issues, about deliverables. And he wants Kenyans to think outside the box. He says Kenyans should reject being slaves of tribalism. However, Peter Kenneth has yet to unveil his lineup. Alex Chamwada for Sunday Live at KICC.